During the winter, one of my absolute favorite ways to catch bass is with a jig. Now, you're not necessarily gonna go out there and catch a ton of fish with a jig, but it does seem like the bites that you get are really big ones, especially during the winter. Now, this is something that I can remember doing actually growing up in my parents' pond, and it's something that I still do to this day on bigger bodies of water. But there are a few things that you can do with your jig and jig fishing that can help you to get a lot more bites during the winter. And there's five specifically that I wanna talk about today. So let's dive right into wintertime jig fishing. Now the first thing and one of the most important things that you can do with your jig during winter is simply downsize the jigs that you're using and or use more compact jigs. And the biggest reason behind this is that during the winter you have cold water and bass are cold blooded creatures. So therefore their metabolism is very slow. They do not need to go out and eat a lot of big meals to kind of sustain themselves. So they will eat a lot of smaller bait fish and crawdads during the winter and that helps them to get by each and every single day. They don't need a big meal. So you can catch some really big bass by using smaller baits. This is one of the reasons why one of my other favorite lures during the winter is a net rig because a net rig is just a small little french fry that bass just love to gobble up on. Now the same thing is true about a jig. I simply like a smaller compact jig during the winter. Now, when I say small or compact, I don't necessarily mean light in weight, okay? Now, I do use a quarter ounce weight a lot, which is kind of a smaller jig when I am fishing in the winter, but you can still use a 3 8 ounce or a half ounce jig, but what I do suggest is just trim that skirt up and really make it a calm packed jig. A lot of times I like to take my jig and I'm actually going to trim the skirt just below the hook of that jig. Now the second thing that can really help you to catch a lot more bass on a jig is selecting the right trailer for that jig that you're using. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of anglers make during the winter is they use the exact same jig trailer that they use throughout the, the rest of the year. And for a lot of us, one of the most popular jig trailers is a crawl style trailer. And more specifically, a crawl style trailer that really has a lot of flapping motion, kind of like a Berkeley Chigger Crawl or a Strike King Rage Crawl. Now, during the winter, I don't like to use those crawls that have a lot of flapping motion. And this actually goes back to what we just talked about with the bass's metabolism. Not only are bass cold blooded, but bait fish and crawl dads or anything else in the water are mostly cold blooded. So everything is moving just a little bit slower down there when you are fishing in cold water. So if you have a jig that has just a ton of flapping motion, it just looks really unnatural to a bass. And if it looks unnatural, they're gonna go up to it, they're gonna see it flapping all over the place, and it's just gonna make them shy away from the bait. So pretty much 100% of the time that I am fishing a jig in cold water, I am fishing a, a trailer that does not have a lot of flapping or commotion to it. A lot of times a simple jig chunk trailer is what I pick up. Another plastic that you can pick up is something that is like a beaver. This is again, it's a bait that doesn't have a lot of action. It just kind of glides through the water. That looks a lot more natural to a bass in cold water and you're going to get a lot more bites on those style of trailers. Before we get into the remaining three tips, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is sportsmansoutfitters.com. One of the best ways to help support Bass Fishing HQ is by supporting the companies that support this channel. Sportsman's Outfitters has been behind this channel for a long time now, and all the jigs, jig trailers, line, and tackle that I talk about can be found at Sportsman's Outfitters. So the next time you go to pick up your tackle, check out Sportsman's Outfitters for the very best in fishing and hunting gear. Now the third thing that is going to help you to catch a lot more bass with that jig in cold water during the winter is by fishing it pretty much as slow as you can. And something that I like to do a lot with a jig is not only fish it slow, but I like to dead stick 
my jig on the bottom at times, which basically means I'm just gonna cast it out, I'm gonna let it hit the bottom, and then I'm just gonna let it sit there for you know 30 seconds, even a minute at times, and then I might hop it or drag it slowly across the bottom, and then I'm just gonna let it sit there a lot of times. If you actually look at a jig when it is underwater, there are just little currents underneath the water and the jig is gonna have a little bit of motion to it as it's sitting there on the bottom. And it's enough motion that it can attract some really lethargic bass to come over there and just look at that bait. And once you slowly start to drag that bait, or maybe you hop it once and then let it slowly fall back down, that's typically when that bass is gonna come up and snatch that jig. You don't wanna overwork the jig. This is something that I do believe you can do in cold water is actually overwork the bait or work it too fast. I think you see a lot of guys get in a boat this time of the year and they're, they're again, they're working that bait the same way that they do in the middle of summer when bass are a lot more aggressive, when their metabolism is a lot higher and that is a big, mistake simply slowing way down and letting that bait dead stick at times i'm telling you what it, it's hard to do but it can get you a lot more bites in the middle of winter now the fourth thing that is going to help you to catch a lot more bass on a jig in the winter especially if you're using a lightweight jig like that quarter ounce jig that we were just talking about is stepping down your equipment. A lot of times in the middle of summer when I'm fishing a jig, I'm fishing it on 17 pound, 20 pound fluorocarbon with a seven foot, six inch, heavy power, fast action rod. It's, it's a beefy flipping and pitching setup. But in the winter, I like to step down pretty much all the equipment that I'm using. Instead of using a seven foot, six inch, heavy power rod, a lot of times I go with like a seven foot, two inch, medium heavy. Simply going from that heavy to medium heavy is going to give you a lot better feel of that compact, lightweight jig. Now, the other thing that I really like to step down is the line size that I'm using. This is really important with those small jigs. Instead of using 17 or 20, I'm gonna use 12 pound fluorocarbon. I use 12 a lot. Sometimes I will step it up to 15 if I think I need it, but a lot of times 12 pound fluorocarbon is what I go with. You would be shocked at just how much better you can feel your jig down there by stepping down your equipment. I think that this is a huge mistake that a lot of guys make because a lot of guys are gonna cut off a jig from their typical setup and just put that smaller compact jig on. And I'm telling you what, if you step down all your equipment, it's gonna give you a lot better feel. And when you're fishing a, a jig in the winter, the bites that you get aren't typical like thump jig bites. A lot of times you're gonna pick up and a bass has sucked that bait in and he's literally just sitting there with it. So really having a good feel of what your jig is doing is really gonna help you to catch a lot more bass with it. Now tip number five when it comes to fishing a jig in the winter is all about location. Now if you're a pond fisherman, typically I'm going to target some of the deepest water that is in a pond. A lot of times this might be in the center of the pond. That is what I'm going to target. Now the bass may not always be right in the middle of that deep water. They may be just really close to it, kind of hunkering on an edge close to that deep water. Now when it comes to fishing a bigger lake, my number one place that I like to fish a wintertime jig is on creek channel swing banks. Now this could be on the main lake or this could be back in some of the creeks. A lot of bass, even in really, really cold water, are gonna stay in some of those major tributaries. And those creek channel swing banks that you have that have rock and wood cover on them are really, really great areas to fish. Now, more specifically, when you get on these banks, anywhere where you have a point that kind of leads into that creek channel swing, or if you have a couple of pockets that actually create drains, those are two really key places that can really concentrate bass where you might actually be able to catch a number of bass in a small location. Now, if you guys wanna know more about jig fishing in general, I made a really long video that kinda of details every type of jig that we use, and I'm gonna link it right here. Also, if you'd like to help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel further, you can actually purchase some fin fishing gear right here. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.